So you've got your part that you've designed in Fusion 360 that you would like to export as an SVG. But there's no way to export as an SVG in Fusion 360 uh, through the normal system. First, we'll need to go to this website, link in the description, to download the Shaper Utilities tool, which allows us to export as SVGs. Let's go ahead and download. I'm going to put it on the desktop. Once it's downloaded, let's click on it to run it. It's going to complain that things are not so good, so let's click on more info and say run anyways. And then we'll click install now. And there we go. If you're doing this on a Mac, it may be a little bit different. Namely, you'll have to say that it's Mac OS, but other than that, it should be very similar. So now our app is installed, but it would normally be found under Utilities tab right over here, and it's not here. And this is because I left Fusion up while I was doing this. So let's reboot Fusion and see if it shows up. Now that we've rebooted Fusion, let's click on this Utilities tab at the top, and you'll see there's this Export to Origin option. Now, of course, this looks like it's kind of a fancy router, and that's because that's what the Shaper Origin is. Uh, this plugin is made by them to be used with their equipment, but it works pretty well for us to export SVGs. So let's click on this icon. And then it's asking for a face. We can click on advanced to get more details, like if we wanted to export different kinds of things. Uh, often you might want to export from a sketch or something like that. But let's stick to not advanced. And we'll just select this surface right here. And note, the surface that you select is the one that's going to export. So if I was to try and select the shape through that surface, it's just going to export a rectangle, which is not at all what we want. I'll click OK. It'll ask me what I'd like to name it. And we don't want to call it body 1. Let's call it body 1, 2. Much better. You can see I've opened this up in Inkscape. And each of these shows up as a separate rectangle, and they filled in the outer profile, which can cause trouble with the Glowforge software because it thinks that you want to engrave it. It's pretty trivial to change it inside the Glowforge software, uh, changing it to a cut. But if you prefer to change it here, you can obviously go to Fill and Stroke, and you can get rid of the fill and add in a stroke. And of course, it does a gigantic stroke. It's still going to follow that midline of the stroke, but if we wanted to make it a little more reasonable, I like to set it to the thickness of the cut of the laser, so six thousandths of an inch. So it looks something like this. But I do recommend coloring it differently so that you can cut it last. So maybe let's give it, it, it really doesn't matter what color. Yeah, something like that. So now it's at least a different item, and we can cut it from here. You'll also notice that it exports upside down, and I have not found any rhyme or reason to the way that uh, Fusion exports these. So that's it. Let me know if you have any questions below, and I'll see you next time.